What's up, sons? It's Blind Dragon with Son of Attack once again, and on Mother's Day, happy Mother's Day to everyone, Intel went ahead and posted a PDF file announcing the new Z390 chipset and some of the features it offers. Should you care, and what are some of the new features? Let's talk about it. Welcome back. So this is an odd move from Intel. We're starting to see minor refreshes to chipsets and uh, CPUs in general. We just saw the new Zen Plus come out for AMD. And I think this might be kind of a knee jerk reaction from Intel because most of the features that you're going to see on the Z390 chipset you already get on a Z370 platform. The additions are not very much. You're going to have support for AC wireless now as an Intel chipset and Bluetooth 5.0. The other thing built in is going to be support for USB 3.1 up to six ports. However, all of this has been done previously on Z370 chipsets with third party controllers. So we're not seeing any new features that we haven't seen before. Now they did say, provided your wireless router supports it, that the new Intel AC Wi-Fi will go up to 1700 megabits per second. So that's pretty awesome stuff, nice high speed, but of course you'll have to have the router to support that. And that's gonna be about it. So should you pick it up? Probably not. It's gonna be one of those cases like we've seen previously, even with Zen Plus, where if you currently already have the previous generation like the Z370, there's not gonna be a real need for you to upgrade. But what could be some of the benefits? Well, with Intel integrating this directly into the boards and into the chipset there and not requiring the motherboard manufacturers to go ahead and create those options outside of that, it will reduce the cost for the motherboard manufacturers and that will reduce the cost, hopefully in the long run, to you, the consumer. So if you don't already have a Z370 motherboard, the Z390 should be, in theory, a little bit cheaper at least when it launches than a board with the similar features on a Z370. However, the most exciting part for all of this is that previously there is a rumor for a new Coffee Lake 8-core CPU, so 8 cores and 16 threads, something above the current 8700K, which is 6 cores and 12 threads. And with an announcement of a new Z390 motherboard option coming from Intel, this definitely reinforces that rumor that it could be possibly true that we're going to start seeing 8 core 16 thread processors on Coffee Lake that could start hitting 5 gigahertz, which I'm all for. I'd love to see that and it's just one of those things once again that thanks to AMD finally coming back into the CPU market with some good competition, we're starting to see Intel pick their game up. Hopefully we'll see that 8 core 8800K or whatever they decide to name it come in at a pretty decent price right around that $329 to $350 mark. Of course, because of the current cost of the 8700K being around that, unfortunately, I think we're going to be looking at quite a bit higher. Of course, it should be cheaper than moving on to an enthusiast platform still because you won't be having to go ahead and pay for all those extra PCIe lanes and such that something like X299 has. So that pretty much covers everything about the Z390 chipset as far as we know so far. I don't think you're gonna see anything groundbreaking here, but it is something to pay attention to if you're starting to look into building a new PC because you might wanna wait for that to actually come out and also wait for the competition to see if they're going to announce an eight core option for Coffee Lake that might rival, of course, the multitasking abilities of the Ryzen 7 2700X. So give it a couple days before you buy that new PC right now and go ahead and see what your options are going to be weighed out to. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think about this release from Intel. Is this something that's a little too late and feels a little ham-fisted or will this actually be beneficial to you, the consumer? I'm curious to know and I'll see you next Tuesday.